Imagine stepping into a world of super smart computer assistants who can help you write essays and scripts or just get things done faster. You don't have to imagine any further because Claude 2 is here to make that imagination and more come to life. It isn't just any regular computer program. It is like that super genius friend who just can't seem to run out of ways to help you. In this video, we will show you how Claude 2 represents an evolution that redefines the landscape of AI-powered assistance. But before we start, subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss all the future insights in the AI field. Claude 2 was conceived and developed by Anthropic, a recent player in the AI world and founded by former OpenAI executives. Anthropic devoted a team of over 30 people to building the AI chatbot, with about 100 others contributing indirectly. Claude 2 is not merely an iteration, but a paradigm shift in AI capabilities. It boasts an astonishing 137 billion parameters, which is basically a ton of brain power. Think of these parameters as tiny pieces of information it uses to understand and do all sorts of tasks. It is a magnitude greater than its predecessor, making it smarter and way more helpful than its older version. It exhibits an unprecedented depth of understanding and proficiency across diverse tasks. These parameters form the foundation upon which Claude 2's exceptional prowess rests. The architectural underpinnings of Claude 2 unveil a complex framework that empowers its capabilities, crafted to transcend its predecessor in performance, versatility, and safety. Claude 2's architecture embodies innovation and computational sophistication. Its foundation lies in transformer-based architecture, a model structure that has played a crucial role in shaping the contemporary landscape of architectural processing. Stemming from the influential Attention is All You Need paper, this transformer architecture operates on the principles of self-attention mechanisms. This empowers the model to capture intricate relationships and dependencies within input sequences. The colossal 137 billion parameters it houses signifies the complex web of neural connections within the model, effectively enabling it to grasp the nuances of language, mathematics, coding, and reasoning. Its training data leverages a vast corpus of text and code, spanning diverse subjects and domains. Claude 2 learns to synthesize meaningful responses, write code, solve mathematical problems, and engage in insightful dialogues. Central to the allure of Claude 2 is its multifaceted utility. Armed with the ability to proficiently write code in various languages, ranging from Python to Java, its potential is exemplified in the realm of software development. Like a coding wizard, it can write computer code in different languages, just like how you'd write a text message. It can also explain tricky math problems easily, for instance. If it is asked to prove the Pythagorean theorem, it can explain it step by step. Moreover, the model transcends the boundaries of mere code generation, demonstrating a penchant for artistic creativity through the composition of poems and scripts that reflect grammatical accuracy and imaginative ingenuity. Notwithstanding its technical accomplishments, Claude II is symbolic of a profound advancement in the realm of reasoning. It seamlessly navigates factual inquiries, producing accurate responses reflective of an expansive knowledge repository. You can ask it complicated questions or even the most straightforward questions such as, what is the capital of France? And it will provide the correct answer with no problem. Claude 2 bridges the gap between information retrieval and cognitive synthesis, whether by illuminating the capital of a country or offering insights into complex scientific concepts. At its core, Claude 2 is engineered to encapsulate the essence of a versatile conversational partner with an added layer of cognitive sophistication. Operating under natural language interaction, it manifests as an AI companion capable of addressing queries and engaging in multifaceted conversations that mirror human discourse. The safety of using chatbots has become a growing concern because of their propensity to share dangerous or false information. For instance, ChatGPT has received backlash for the way it handles religious and gender-based questions. Anthropic wanted to ensure Claude 2 is safe and friendly, so they trained it on a vast amount of information, like tons of books, 
articles, and even computer code, feeding it with up-to-date and varied information so that it mirrors today's societal expectations and can answer anything you ask. With that being said, within the field of artificial intelligence, there is a problem they can't seem to shake off, and that is the issue of hallucination or artificial hallucination, which refers to a confident output produced by an AI that lacks apparent justification from its training data. For instance, when prompted to generate a financial report for a company, it might inaccurately state that its revenue stands at $10 billion, an arbitrary figure drawn from thin air. When asked about this, the executives at Anthropic said this is an issue that all language models face, including Claude 2, and they are working to correct it. We will follow Anthropic's progress in finding a solution, so don't forget to subscribe. Another compelling facet of Claude 2's persona is its role as a conversational agent. Armed with a sophisticated understanding of regular communication, it seamlessly simulates dialogues similar to engaging interactions with human counterparts so it can chat with you like a friend, a virtual buddy who's really good at answering questions and having a fun conversation. This feature and its aforementioned capabilities render Claude 2 an invaluable asset across diverse domains. In terms of deployment, Claude 2's architecture enables access via API, as well a user-friendly public-facing beta website. This dual accessibility empowers both developers and casual users to leverage Claude 2's capabilities across a host of applications, from software development to content generation. Anthropic's team conducted live tests on Claude 2 to validate its capabilities beyond theoretical assumptions, and Claude 2's performance is indicative of its advanced cognitive abilities. In the bar exam, a standardized test for legal professionals, Claude 2 demonstrates notable improvement compared to its predecessor, Claude 1.3. Claude 2 achieved a remarkable score of 76.5% on the multiple choice section of the bar exam, surpassing Claude 1.3's score of 73.0% and the average human score of 74%. In a Python coding test, it scored 71%, up from 56% in the previous version, which means it is capable of writing code at a professional level. And when it comes to grade school math problems, Claude 2 excelled beyond initial predictions. To compare, we will stack Claude 2 against GPT-4, which is OpenAI foremost chatbot. 137 billion parameters anchor Claude 2, while GPT-4 thrives on its expansive 175 billion parameters. GPT-4 can source for answers and create varied texts on any topic from the Internet, which Claude 2 currently can't do. Instead, it searches through available documents. But don't underestimate Claude 2 just yet. Unlike GPT-4, Claude 2 can generate larger texts and summaries, surpassing ChatGPT in this regard. This ability allows Claude 2 to process larger volumes of data and tackle more intricate tasks effectively. Notably, Claude 2 outperforms ChatGPT in functions involving reasoning and coding, such as excelling in the bar exam and demonstrating proficiency in Python coding challenges. Partnerships with platforms such as Jasper and Sourcegraph exemplify Claude 2's transformative potential, wherein its prowess is channeled to drive content strategies and revolutionize coding practices. Claude AI can be used in countless cases, like enhancing productivity by aiding in scheduling, research, reminders, and task organization, supporting customer service and employee needs through automated ticket handling, onboarding, and training, facilitating market research by analyzing trends from news and articles, powering creative content creation, including stories, poems, code, and presentations, assisting in scientific research by curating papers, data analysis, and hypothesis suggestions, and also contributing to medical risk assessment by identifying symptoms, reviewing health records, and offering recommendations, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Integrating Claude 2 into your applications would involve signing up for an API key on the Anthropic website. This key grants access to Claude 2's endpoints and pricing tiers. After obtaining the API key, you can choose an appropriate Claude 2 SDK for various programming languages like Python, Node, JES, Java, and more.
Installing the chosen SDK is straightforward and handles authentication, simplifying API call mechanics. Authenticate using the API key, then seamlessly integrate Claude 2's capabilities into your application. The SDK facilitates interactions with Claude 2's endpoints for various tasks. While Claude 2 caters to audiences in the United States and the United Kingdom, its trajectory underscores a future characterized by global accessibility. The ongoing journey of refinement and innovation positions Claude 2 as a harbinger of an AI-driven future that aids human endeavors, amplifying productivity and innovation alike. You can use Claude 2 on a website called Claude.ai or through unique computer integrations and codes, which will be commercially available for the public in the near future. Claude 2 emerges as an emblem of the remarkable strides taken in the arena of artificial intelligence. Its capacity to converse, create, and comprehend aligns seamlessly with the aspirations of a world marked by technological sophistication. Claude 2's legacy is one of transformation, cementing its status as a herald of the AI Renaissance. Well, that's all about Claude 2. If you enjoyed the insights, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.